Now for our main event, one of our main events, the lethal lockdown steel cage match. The Sting is one of the team leaders. You win by pinfall submission. Sting, Sting the captain of his team, he's ready to go, he wants to get revenge on Jeff Jarrett and his team of Monty Brown and Kurt Angle, as well as his, his team up with Hernandez and Scott Steiner, normally that would be four men in the team but Jim Cornette ordered it to be a three on three instead of a four on four because of Sting's part is injured which is uh, James Storm also Jeff Jarrett's uh, team member Kevin Nash is injured as well after that fall in that upper ladder and here comes Sting's tag team, next tag team partner Hernandez Hernandez is also known as the Superman. He can fly, he can go. But the question is can Hernandez at last win for his team? Hernandez, a uh, tag team partner, a member of LAX, Homicide, but he's not. But he is not here tonight. Well, he's not competing here tonight. Well, you gotta believe he's watching him back in his hometown of New York. Here comes partner number four, Scott Steiner. Scott Steiner. Scott Steiner said that he would do anything to get revenge on Jeff Gill. He would do anything to get revenge on Jeff Gill. This is he's a part of Sting's team in his lethal lockdown steel cage match. Yeah. Scott Steiner, former TNA World Champion. Former. Team their tag team champion of Booker Team. Remember the main event mafia. Remember the time when he teamed up with Pete Williams as well. Successful. You can check those. Jeff Jarrett with that guitar. Equalizing this match. Jeff Jarrett, leader of his team, Team Jarrett. This is going to be a great match. Jeff Jarrett, the founder of this company, TNA. Who will leave from the media? The new, the winner of this match, they have a lot done. And here comes Monty Brown. Monty Brown, the, the lead the animal of the pack. Monty Brown made his return last week 
when he confronted Jim Cornette and said he was, he was going to be added into this one. What will he, will he bring to his team? Because we we'll wait for the final entry, which is kind of. Let his goal make this. He wants to walk away. It's a victory, yeah. You ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen nothing yet. Until you be this is your first time seeing TNA. Well, this is TNA Lockdown, presented by Daniel, holding Tony Seven. Now that all the entries are in the way, we begin this match. Nice and thick, nice pump slap for the first cover. And then Sting kicks out. The Sting didn't kick out then. He went really quickly for the lockdown match ever. Nicely for lockdown match. There's Mark Spork on, and they saw Monty Brown struggles to it after Sting. Oh, crunches. We still got that main event to come when Team 3D challenges the James Glenn in the steel cage now. We have three out of four steel cage now. The scandal throws Sting into the cage. We throw that down really. And Anders now scoops him up and into the time buckle, into the time buckle. Sting reverses and he's down with that. Nice by Monty Brown going after Sting. And Sting falling. Well, Sting go for a weapon. Go for a table. Remember Team Sting versus Team Joe. Two new leaders in this match. Uh oh, Sting's going for his baseball bat. Because he's dressed in the way I was weapon. So you feel like that was. The Sting breaks with the count. He's already a submission. Sting set the table. He started uses it. But the table didn't break. That angle pushed him up and dropped him down to the ground. He put that down there. The Steiner go for the GT and it's going for the uh, go for that move. The sleeper. That's the overhead brace though, just kind of got the Sting with a chair, he nails that in the way of that. Followed by a steel chair shot. Like Joe kicks in where he has the table on him. Keeps the table right into his head. There's action everywhere in this map. Mm -hmm. 
Hang on, I'm in trouble. Still in trouble. Look. Still does he feel like our match continues? Yes, nice eater by Jeff Young. Jarrett driving the table into the head. As Jarrett places the table into a corner. Meanwhile, outside of the ring, Monty Brown, bowing to Scott Stone. Nice play today. He went by pin force in this one. That continues. As Jeff Jarrett gets him an arm bar, is he cut the slot star gonna keep the the slot star not gonna tap? No he doesn't. He's cut and it breaks a bit. Cut and going to the corner of the table. Monty Brown don't want it to happen. Monty Brown just drives him to the table. My goodness. Meanwhile, look at this. And that just kicks out. A triple German. Suplex City. And another German Suplex. And another one. Meanwhile, I can't even go for a cover. Is this it? And the team angle of the position. Man, what man? Well, I think they could eventually split the same base from the entire match, but they were so able to overcome any potential issues. 